What's up everyone and welcome to Ola Testing Show. Today I'm trying out the Fortin Tempest Overdrive. This is a signature pedal for the band Architects. So Josh and Adam of The Architects and Fortin joined forces to design an overdrive that for them would be a good companion for a lot of different amplifiers because Josh and Adam are playing and using a lot of amplifiers. So they wanted an overdrive that they could use with a wide array of different amplifiers. And this is the result right here. The Tempest, like Joey Tempest, the singer of Europe, you know. It has this marine uh, color, color is what I'm, uh, marine blue color to it. Uh, color was the word I was searching for. Nothing too fancy, it's pretty straightforward. You have a level, a drive, a high-pass filter and a low-pass filter. So the high-pass filter and a low-pass filter obviously is to cater to the different needs of what amplifier you're going to use. I'm using this overdrive today in a Mesa Boogie Badlander. Let me demonstrate how it sounds. Without the pedal engaged, it sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, let me reset the controls re uh, real quick and then we'll just engage it. It immediately tightened up the amplifier. Check this out. With the overdrive disengaged. With it engaged. So very tight but let's work this thing a little bit so what I would usually do is that I would just crank the level pull down the drive a little bit so you give that saturated boost to the amplifier I would use the drive if I would use this pedal for lead boost or like a solo boost I'll keep it like this for rhythm right now and then I'm gonna work the high pass filter So right now high pass filter is on zero, which means that all the bass is back and then you filter out the bass as you go in the other direction. And the low pass. With it at max means that it has all the high end. Filter out some of the high end by pulling it down. So basically with the filters like this you kind of encapsulate the tone and makes it way more mid-heavy. Right? Sounds pretty cool. I'm running the uh, crunch mode right now, but there's also a crush mode on the Badlander, which gives a little bit more gain, another gain stage basically. <laughs> Off. It definitely gives the amplifier a more modern tone, more of a you know, genty tone. All right, let's go to crush mode. Yeah, man, that sounds good. So without the overdrive. Without 
with the overdrive. Nice. All right, let's try it with not a seven string. Almost becomes too nasty with the low pass filter at max, so. But it sounds nasty, that's what I like about it. Okay, let's go back to crunch. I imagine that if you would use this for leads, that if you pull up the drive like this, they would also pull down on the low pass filter to make the leads not sound as screechy. Check this out. Let's have it on max. And you go down a little bit. It tames the leads a little bit, so if you would use this as a lead drive, I would probably tame it a little bit. But, if you use it for rhythm... I like that high-end screech. So there you go, that's the Fortin Tempest for you right there. I guess just another great addition to your overdrive collection that you already have. Uh, no, but I think it sounds really good. If you heard in the beginning there with the Architect song that I played, it really fits that type of tone right there, where you know, you get that very mid-focus type of uh, distortion and rhythm. So this pedal is definitely more catering into the modern metal guy. I think it sounded really good for the Mesa Badlander, which I firmly believe it's a really good uh, tighter rectifier and uh, but it needs a little help on the way if you don't have active pickups or stuff like that so but this definitely helps it sounds very modern so there you go that's the Fortin Tempest for you right there hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching have a nice weekend goodbye <laughs>